I was first diagnosed with perugo nodularis right after high school. In 2016 is when Perugo nodularis first appeared on my body. I was diagnosed with it, however, in 2018. There's a gap there because when I got it in 2016, no one knew what it was. I went to dermatologists from Miami to West Palm Beach to Tampa. I've heard bed bugs, I've heard eczema, I've heard everything you can think of, but except peeing. I finally got diagnosed because I joined like this little study and they were able to tell me what I have, which is peeing. That is my timeline on how I got diagnosed. But for the first two years, no one knew what it was. And at that point, I thought I was dying. Mind you, while all of this is going on, I'm like 17 years old, just finishing high school. And here I am thinking I'm about to start my prime years. I'm about to start adulting. Peeing had a horrible effect on my mental state. I was depressed. I started eating. I got overweight. My self-esteem was out the door. I, I was. I kept telling my mom I'm ugly. I don't want to go anywhere. I look like a monster. I, I really did not. I spent those two years inside my room. My mom had glaucoma in one eye, so we end up going to this eye institution called Bombs and Palmer. And I just feel like everything happened for a reason because I needed to be there for me to see a poster about perugo nodularis research. Mind you, I don't know the name of my disease, okay? All I see is like itching, chronic itch. Some, like that's all that caught my attention was the chronic itch. I signed up and I think like a week after they called me to come in, they did a biopsy. So I think like two weeks after that, we started the medication, everything's been going good. I was itching less and less, but I was still itching. Basically, they really couldn't talk much about the medication they were giving me. All I knew was that I was just signing my skin over to these doctors and I was getting injected with something. I don't know what it was, but it was helping. I was starting to see that some of the nodules were actually like flattening. So at this point, I'm like, Stella is getting her groove back. So from there, I actually started to do more and more research about Perugo nodularis. I actually came across this great Facebook group and y'all I was not alone I was not alone in fighting this battle there's like thousands of people in that group and it's like finally I found people who knows what it's like I will tell my friends I'm itching I'm itching they'll be like stop itching they don't understand and it's, I can't even get mad at them because they, they don't know any better one thing I wish doctors would know about Perugo nodularis is that Believe us when we say we're in pain. Believe us when we say it's impossible to stop itching. Believe us when we say this disease is not easy. It's not. It's not just bumps. It's not acne. It is life changing. It hurts. Okay, there are some fabrics you can't even put on because it hurts so bad. There are certain type of clothes I couldn't wear. I remember I had to start like buying silk, things with silk because if anything caught on to an open nodule, it will burn. So I would like doctors to understand and learn more about Perugo nodularis to understand that this autoimmune disease is not for the weak. In raising awareness about Perugo nodularis, I just wanna let you guys know you're not alone. I am with you. I know what it's like living with PN. I know it's not easy. However, I just want you to know that you are gorgeous. You are handsome. This disease does not define you. It is just another aspect to our body that makes us unique. There is medications now that are out that are helping. Please, please, please talk to your dermatologist. Let them know there is medication. And if they don't want to help you, find another one. But it does get better. Guys, I'm telling you, I was... 
I used to scratch my skin with knives. And here I am wearing short sleeves. I mean, I still have the bumps, but once again, it makes me me. It makes me unique. It stands me out from the rest. Do not let the disease take over you. Don't let nothing take control over your life. And to remember, it does get better. Don't give up. There's medications out now that is helping us. You can eat better, treat your body better, but do not let it take over your life because I've been there. There's so much light at the end of the tunnel. You are not peeing. You are you and peeing think he can take over your, he or she can take over your life, but they cannot. Other strategies that I have for managing PM would be having a healthy diet because I would notice that some things that were very acidic would trigger my PM, things that were greasy would trigger my flare ups. So I would say dieting, eating better, working out, treating your body with love. Our immune system is already confused. It's fighting its own self. So we have to put in what the body needs, help the disease, leave our body. Some misconceptions, oh, it's chicken pops, oh, it's bed bugs, oh, no, it's not. I would just love for the community to just be more open-minded and, you know, assume, oh my God, peeing is contagious. Don't touch me, you have perugo nodularis, don't touch me. It's not contagious at all. If it was my little sisters, my mom, my dad, everybody around me would have caught it. We're human. So for you, like I said, I was in a store and the her mother seen my skin and she pulled her child closer to her. I'm human. How did you how do you think that makes me feel? Like you're treating me like I'm a monster over something I have no control over. We're not asking for these diseases. <laughs> whether it's lupus, whether it's whatever, whatever it is, like we're not choosing to be diagnosed with these certain things, so just be kind. In the future, when it comes to perugonodularis, I would envision just a treatment that everybody can just run to. And honestly, since 2016 to now, there have been some improvements, but I would say for like, let's say the year 2030, I would love to be able to have a medication that everyone can get worldwide because there's people in other different states and they can't get a hold of certain type of medication. So I just pray that there's a medication that everyone can reach, everyone can get, and there's no limitations to the medication and we can live with perugonodularis. Being a part of Now Included has helped me so much in sharing my journey because I just feel so comfortable now. Mind you, this was a disease that I never wanted anyone to know about, but being a part of this community, I just feel so welcomed. I feel so encouraged to know that maybe I can help someone else. Maybe I can shed light on this disease so someone else can feel comfortable, so someone else can know that, hey, I'm not alone. I envision the Now Included community to bring awareness to Perugo nodularis by just opening up the platform. Whether it's PN, whether it's eczema, whether it's any type of disease you have, just to open up the floor so that way we all can get together and share our experiences. I wish I had someone, when I was down and sad, I wish I had somebody with eczema, with PN, who can understand me, just even if it's a little bit, so I can talk to, so I can vent to. I just envision a platform where we all can just support each other. Call me like, hey Darisha, can I talk to you? And I would answer, you know, just to open up the floor for people that understands what we're going through.